for this uh, stream. I am playing Architects of the West Kingdom, which is uh, by Shim Phillips and S.J. McDonald. Um, it takes uh, place during the middle of the 9th century, um, with, uh, eight, around 850 or so is what they say, I think, in the rule book, during the Carolingian um, period in France, and we are constructing a cathedral and some other buildings. And as we do that, we hire some apprentices who help us get things done, and we have to worry about our virtue, and we might go to prison up here in the guardhouse, and all those things are going on. So I'm going to be playing against Constantine, which is the easier of the two uh, AIs. Well, let me make sure I didn't put any up. Oh, I did. Uh, from before, um, there's a um, scheme cards, and then you get some harder scheme cards that come in later on. Um, with that, uh, but they're going to be trying to block me out, sending my workers to prison. Um, basically, you get compounded worker actions. Here's, uh, I think her name is uh, Helena. Yeah, Helena. So there's Constantine and Helena, who are architects sent by the king to make me get the uh, cathedral done faster. Um, but as I do it, I have three silver. They have no silver. Um, they don't have a cost related to any of their actions on the board, but they will gain marble when they can, um, because if they get marble, then getting marble allows them to get extra points at the end of the game. Um, the other thing you do for setup for the solo is you take um, some, some specific cards out, the building cards, the stone market, the clay market, the silver market, and the wood market are no longer available in the deck. Um, I think that's most of everything as far as setup. I guess I'll go over how to play the game too, uh, if you're unsure how to play the game. Um, let's go ahead and pull up the board so we can see that better. So on the board, um, we have uh, a bunch of specific actions that get better incentivized as you have more workers on the board. But uh, with that, you Sorry, I'm going over to the side here. Uh, with that, if you um, uh, let, me, let me fix that. That's annoying. <laughs> so, but if if you go to a space and um, your workers are already there, you're basically going to get an improved action. Um, I don't know if I can fix that. I'm not. I can't fix it. I'm just going to have to scoot my chair over a little bit. But you get an improved action. <laughs> And as you get an improved action, um, there's a risk of your workers going to prison. So let's say, I, we'll just go through all these. If I go to the mines, at the mines, I'm gonna get either one clay plus one uh, clay per worker that's there. So in the first case, it's two. Or I can choose to get, once I have two workers, I can choose to get a gold for every two workers. The quarry allows me to get one stone per worker there forest, one wood per worker there. Silversmith is a single silver plus a silver for every worker there. So if I had three workers there, I would get a total. When I put my third one, I get a total of four silver. The town center is where um, you can capture other players' pieces. So you spend, there's these, they call them red. They look uh, kind of copperish, um, fresh copper looking. But you, you spend one to the tax and tax stand we'll talk about in a minute but you spend one tax and then you can capture all of the same color of workers from one location uh, and up in up to a three player game you can actually do that in two locations but for you have to have an additional worker and then uh, with that you have to spend um, uh, more money but that money instead goes to the supply instead of here um, so with that, your workers go off to the, actually they go to the player's board, and then later when they go to the guardhouse, so if my worker goes here, and then the AI goes here, it can send my worker to the prison there, and it can bring its workers home, and then uh, they can gain a debt and lose a virtue um, to release all their workers or all my workers from every other player's board. So it's not gonna be as big of a deal in this uh, single player, but you can see on a third, three or four player, 
thing you, you might need to get all your workers back um but it costs two tax and then three silver to the supply or you can spend three tax and three to supply to i always forget what this one is uh it is i think just to get rid of a debt so um that is the guard house and at the guard house we have that so uh, pay six silver, three of which is tax to pay off. Yeah, so that's paying off debt. And um, so those, the town center and the guard house are connected that way. And this way, down here at the workshop, you're going to pay two tax and then two to the supply to gain, however, uh, to gain an apprentice. And you can see here you need one apprentice to get uh, one of the apprentices from this column, two workers to get and purchase from this column three from that and four from this one you can always pay an additional um on top of a worker let's say i wanted this one and i had already paid this cost i could put one here to take this one even with only one worker here so there are ways to get other workers just quite expensive or you can take a building card or an additional building card for every two workers that you have there so there's that option um, you can also go to the King's Storehouse. You can turn in a stone or a wood or a clay or any combination. For every two of those that you turn in, you get a virtue. Um, or you can turn in stone and wood. For every three of those, then you get that marble. So you get one action per worker that's there. Um, you can also think about going to the black market. The black market means at all three of those, you're going to lose a virtue. Here you're going to lose one silver, two silver, and three silver cost. With this one, you would just get a single marble for that silver and loss of virtue. Or go here, gain any one of the apprentices, it doesn't matter where. Or you can draw five from the building uh, cards and keep one. And then the last thing is spend the three and lose a virtue to get a marble, a wood, and two stone, which might really quickly help you build something and in this game we're only going to be able to build 12 times uh total once the guild hall is full whether for me or the ai the game's going to be over so uh at the guild hall you get to either build a green card by paying its costs and costs are on the top left so this one requires an apprentice that has the axe symbol the paintbrush symbol and the stone hammer symbol plus um, and you get to keep those apprentices so you don't discard them. But then you have five wood, two stone, and two gold to build this keep, which gives you immediately, uh, that's a lightning symbol, immediately you're going to lose uh, two virtue, but in the end of the game you'll get uh, victory points for every uh, kept um, worker of another one. So And it also gives you 12 points at the end of the game too. So those are things to be aware of as you're playing, um, let's see here, virtue and extra victory or loss of victory points over here. You also get a discount on taxes if you're way down on your virtue. Um, probably wouldn't recommend that. So, and then if you go to the tax stand, you lose two virtue, but you can take all the money in the tax. That's a way to get silver quickly uh, versus going to the silversmith. Um, Let's see, anything else I'm forgetting before we go? Oh, when you go to the cathedral, you go here, and you can get blocked on that in a bigger game. Um, in this game, it's mainly going to be that uh, the AI might get to 20 points, and I won't have access to that 8 points if that happens. So just trying to beat the AI's score. Um, we'll see how that actually goes. Um, this should actually be back over here because there's none starting here. But this uh, does get reset when there are either three there uh, or I think that's the only way. I don't remember. Oh, there might be a reset with the, the AI. But if there are three here, all three of those are going to go up to prison. And then uh, whoever has three or more workers up there loses a virtue. And uh, if you have a worker in prison, you're also going to take on a debt. Uh, no, whoever has the most is going to take on the debt, not just have it in order. Sorry. So with that, we'll go ahead and uh, get started. Um, okay, so my turn. These are the buildings that I have. I have a, a keep, 
which is, is uh, like I said, 12 victor points. And I went over that one. I don't know that I'm going to do that. That might get discarded so I can go to the cathedral and work on the cathedral. I kind of want to just work on the cathedral, which means I need to start getting clay. I need clay for this one anyways. Um, well, I'll get clay, and then next time I can get gold, and then I can spin the gold, discard that, start working on my cathedral. I think that's what I might do. Um, this one, discard, or to get rid of two virtue, um, but I get 12 points, and then looks like I capture two groups of workers immediately in these big, and uh, the capturing only happens in these big circles. It doesn't happen from the guild hall or the black market. Um, so, all right, so I don't want to really work on that one yet. I might want to work on the lighthouse. The lighthouse requires me to have a paintbrush, apprentice, uh, three wood, a stone, and two marble, which isn't bad. And also gives me victory points for every four virtue I have, and it's six points. So it's light on points, but it can give me more points at the end of the game, especially if I max out my virtue. So something to keep in mind there. Um, Hmm. Where do I want to go first? Um, and I do get to go first. It says specifically in the rules that, that I can go first before the AI. So I think I think I do want to get that, try to get moving on my cathedral, and I'll worry about that as I work on my cathedral. So I'm going to go there, uh, take a worker, and I get two clay, and you know I can get other buildings later too. So I'll worry about that as I need to. Um, I get my two clay, and then it's the AI's turn. And the AI, uh, you're gonna go to the place that it says at the top. So here it says the tax stand. So it's gonna go to the tax stand and return any coins from the tax stand to the main supply, and also receives the following. So first, this is the well, that kind of stinks, but it is what it is with this game. Um, I mean, it's an AI, right? It's doing things that I'm not going to like. So, uh, it, I'm going to... They're going to uh, lose two virtue. So, they're going down there. They're already at negative one point there. But they get a marble. So, uh, marbles do equal one victory point at the end of the game for the AI. Um, for every two... Workers they have in prison at the end of the game, they, they lose a point too. Okay, so that was the AI's turn. Back to my turn. Um, if I go here again, then I can get the gold because now I have two workers there. Uh, the gold of my game ends up looking a little bit more like uh, orange cheese, but it's gold. I might it'd be fun to upgrade this with like little gold bullion looking things. Not actual boy, and I can't do that. Um, so I went there so that I can do this uh, by discarding a card going there. And let's see. Plus it might give me... Oh, that's not bad, actually, to go there. Well, I only have three silver right now. Okay. All right. So it's the AI's turn. The AI is going to... Well, did I... Sh I shuffled. So it's going to go to the tax stand again. There's no money there. It's going to go down one, two... Virtue again puts it at negative five points, and it gets a marble. Uh, not great for the AI. I really don't mind that that move that much. So the AI has done its thing, um, and I wanted to go to the cathedral. So I'm going to spend a worker up here that would reset this. The only thing I think that's going to happen though is that this is going to flip over here. Uh, but I go up there, I can spend my gold and discard a card, and I didn't really care about that uh, fortress because I'm not going to be focusing on capturing the AIs. I mean, I could, but I'm not going to. Um, I guess that could kind of work together with that. That's okay. I'm just going to discard this card out of the game. Uh, and, um, this would get reshuffled if, if I need to, but I don't need to right now. So I'm going to get rid of my gold that I earned. And then I go up. Purple's my favorite color. That's why I have this card. Purple workers, purple thing. And now I go up uh, on the cathedral track. I have two points. Uh, and with the AI's negative five points, I'm actually doing better. 
Okay. I don't think that'll last, though. The AI is going to go to the King Storehouse. At the King Storehouse, it will get uh, one virtue per worker there. It only has one worker there, so it's one virtue. Back to me. And now I can start working on my lighthouse or keep going up on the cathedral. I do have to worry about the AI coming behind me. So I think I'm going to keep working on the cathedral so that I don't get behind on that. Uh, and, and doing this stuff will help me build my lighthouse anyway. So I'm going to go, let's see, I need three, three, uh, three wood. So we'll go here to the forest first and get a wood. It's the AI's turn. The AI, uh, Constantine is going to go to the town center. Now this isn't a cost. So the 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 um, the silver on the card, which in this case is one, uh, is going to get just paid from the supply back to the taxes. And with that, the AI is going to capture my workers from the location with the most, uh, which means I lose them at the mine, which isn't nice at all so it's going to capture them and if they go here on the ai's card and if the ai goes to the guardhouse those are going to go from here to here and that's the way i can get them back for now they're not available to me uh, unless i were to go to the guardhouse and pay a lot to release because it would cost me a debt and a loss of virtue to get my people back from the AI. that's not a big problem though you start with 20 workers um, 20 workers is a good amount at this point in the game. So uh, I will, let's see here. Uh, I will get the rest of the wood I need for my lighthouse. Because now, last time I got one, now I get two, because there's two workers there. So I'm done with the wood for the lighthouse. Now I can go here and do that. Also, if I have a chance to get more wood, I can work on my cathedral too. So now it's back to the AI. The AI is going to pay two from the supply to the taxes and it will discard this apprentice out of the game. So these slide to the left and flip over a new one and with that if possible add one future scheme card per worker to the schemes discard. So it went to the workshop. I gotta remember to put the worker there too. Since it went to the workshop, it's gonna take one of these uh, harder schemes and throw it into the uh, discard pile for the AI too. Some more for me to work against. Okay, back to my turn. I need to go to the quarry because like I said, incentivizing these things for myself helps me out in the cathedral. And as I do that, I get a single stone. Back to AI. AI Constantine is going to go to the guardhouse. Um, so the guardhouse uh, is going to first send uh, any one per work. So it's going to take as many actions as possible, one per worker in the following order. First, it would send any of its own. Um, workers home from prison back to me, uh, not back to itself. And then the second thing it would do, send any captured workers, it gets to prison and then it gets, so effectively it just got two victory points, which is with the uh, marble already has, there's four victory points for the AI. Um, and that's all it can do because it only, sent, it only has one worker to do that. And then it's back to me. So I'm working on both the second level of the cathedral and this lighthouse, which takes three wood, uh, two marble, and a stone. I think what I will do, either way, I need uh, more marble. I need a lot more marble. So right now, I'm just going to go to the quarry again and get more stone, because I'll need more stone uh, for other types of buildings, too. Now I get two more stone. I have three stone. I can turn those stones. And for things now, I'm kind of like hedging my bets. Oh, and this one, the trader says I can spend two stone at the king store, uh, two wood at the king store house to get a uh, marble instead of one. So I really need to go and get that before that disappears. I need to make sure the AI doesn't I just notice that. So, 
Um, okay, black market for the AI for Constantine. Constantine's gonna go to the first space and gains a rewards blow rather than those on the board. Uh, so it always goes to the first free space left to right. Um, so loser virtue again, but gets two points. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Okay, so actually there is a, there is a, it doesn't go left to right. It goes to the symbol on here. So it's going to go over here, block me here. That's okay. I didn't want to go there. I don't want to spend money on that right now. I, I already made it lose virtue, but it's going to get two more marble, which is two more points for Constantine. Okay. Back to me. I need to make sure that I can get this apprentice, but I don't. The problem is I only have three money right now. Um, so let's go to the silversmith. So we'll go to the silversmith. I get one silver plus one for my worker there, which is two. And it's back to the AI. Constantine is going to go to the king's storehouse and get a virtue for each of Constantine's workers there. So they will get two virtue back to to five virtue so they have recovered a lot of their negative points already and me now i have money so because i have money i can go here um, two will go to taxes and two will go to uh, the supply and i can recruit this apprentice you can have five uh, apprentices um, but now when i go to the king storehouse i can spend two wood and get um, a marble instead of having to spend three things, which is good. But I do need, I'm gonna have to go to, and get some more wood in the forest anyways, because I need it for my lighthouse and I need it for here. Um, but then I think I have enough. Okay, Constantine will go to the guild hall and at the guild hall, Constantine will uh, go up here. They always go, this is where they go left to right and then uh, up after that. Um, moves their player marker one space up the cathedral and discards the top reward card. So they're going to go here because that's open and available and they're going to discard two virtue. Interesting. Um, yeah, I'd like to go up on my virtue too so I don't love that that happened. But uh, back to um, back to me. So, oh, I forgot to slide these over. So slide those over and flip that debt collector. What's the debt collector do? The debt collector, um, you can get rid of a debt. When, whenever you get rid of a debt, you also get two stone or whenever you take a debt. So, yeah, that's whenever you get rid of a debt. Same symbol as there. Okay, so whenever you get rid of a debt, you also get two stone, interesting. All right, so my turn. I also need an apprentice that has the the uh, brush, which both of those do. Those are the only two, so I need to keep that in mind too. Um, but what I was going to do is go to the forest, get some more timber, uh, maximize what I can do with that. So I get three now, three wood, so I can turn that into some marble that I need, both at the cathedral and at my lighthouse that I'm working on. Okay, back to Constantine. Constantine is going to go to the King's storehouse again. Now has three workers there, so we'll get one, two, three. Virtue is back in the positive. Uh, well, net net zero um, for virtue, but not a loss now, and is ahead. Okay, so my coffee is now out again all right so i have all that wood i can either go get some stuff here but now that constantly has caught me up here on the cathedral i think i'm gonna go there i need to make sure i set aside enough for this i'm gonna set aside these so i don't forget what those are for um it's not like they're actually stuck there but i'm gonna do that um I'm going to, going to go to the cathedral, state, but I have to discard it. That's okay. I don't love this fortress anyway. I'm going to um, be discarding this fortress, going to the guild hall. As I go to the guild hall, I will uh, discard a card, and now I have to get rid of four resources. So I'm going to get rid of um, 
Wow. Uh, and they have to be stone and wood. That's okay. So stone and wood. I'm going to get rid of three wood and a stone. I know I said I wanted to use that for marble, but I'm, like, I'm just going to have to go here again. Um, so I got rid of four and my card. I now have four points in the cathedral. Um, and I'm not way behind Constantine either, which is also really important. All right. So Constantine wants to do what this time? Go to the guardhouse. Uh, and he's going to take as many actions, which is going to be two. Um, first things first, we'll, um, we'll bring home any that are in prison. There are none in prison for Constantine. Um, so that's not going to happen. He's going to send any captured up to the prison. That's not going to happen for Marble. We'll uh, spend two to the taxes, let's just incentivize anyways, um, to release there from other player board and release a zero, uh, spend three and get both, uh, to, let's see, to, what is that for? Then they, they, they spend three to taxes and then, let's see, what is that symbol, X symbol? X symbol means uh, get rid of a debt and take a virtue so they don't have any debt um, because it's not the plus sign it's the X sign so that they, would be, but they did go up on the virtue so with that it is back to me I need marble to keep continuing on my cathedral tear that I'm on I need marble anyway for uh, uh, for my lighthouse, so I'm gonna have to. The easiest way for me to get that is go down here to the forest, get four wood, which I can turn into two marble because of my apprentice. So that's a good action efficiency right there. And then um, it is Constantine's turn again. Goes to the king's storehouse again, gets four virtue now. One, two, three, four. Uh, so they're at five points uh, if they stay there at the end of the game. And back to me. And with that, I wanted to go to the king's storehouse also. These spaces are unlimited, uh, but I could capture all of them. That would give me silver too. Um, it, it, it's tempting. Because I do need more silver. I'll, I'll think about that. Um, so I go there. I uh, will turn in. Oh, I only get one action. Oof. That's okay. So I'm going to turn in two wood, get a single marble, because that will let me go up there. But I'm going to have to get more cards, because I don't want to get rid of this card. So I'm going to come down here next time, I think. Okay. Yep. I got my single marble. I have to do do that. Um, so I was taking the second action. Okay. Constantine is now going to... Oh, okay. Get rid of another apprentice by going to the workshop. So Constantine's going to go to the workshop. And at the workshop, Constantine will pay two from the supply to the taxes. His taxes do look nice and juicy to take now. Um, so we'll discard this apprentice from the game and then they'll slide over and there's another jeweler and um, if possible add a future scheme per worker. So two future schemes, these are bad ones probably are just going to come out and get added to that. It's back to my turn. Uh, I need to go down there and get a card. So I get two cards. So I might as well do it. Um, two building cards. I need more building cards. So I got a chapel, which gives me immediately virtue. And also, uh, it's fairly inexpensive to build. Or a well, uh, which is only worth three points. 
very inexpensive to build, but it gives me four clay. Uh, that's interesting. I, I, I'll probably just discard the well. Um, okay, so back to Constantine. Constantine will go to the town center. Going to capture my people in the forest, which is not not ideal. I, I need one more time going to the forest before that happened. Um, so we'll put one money in to the uh, taxes. Capture all my people up here. They go uh, here, not to prison yet, here, but to the spot that matches on uh, Constantine's board. And then uh, back to me. I don't love it, but it's a lot of silver. I probably won't have to worry about silver again in the game if I do it. And I'm gonna I know I'm gonna have to get these people back because now that's gonna be six people, almost a third of my people. So, oh, 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 so this should be switched. I've been doing the wrong ones. Um, but, okay, so I'm glad I caught that. But now I go to the tax stand. I lose two virtue. I'm at negative one points over there. But by going to the tax stand, I take all of the money there, which is a good amount right now. Um, not very virtuous. It's coming off the top of the text in. All right, back to Constantine. Constantine is going to go to the town center again. Yeah, that's why I, that's why I need that money, because I'm going to need to get my people back. I'm going to need to do other things, too. Um, I, I'm going to need money for things. So let's see. Okay, so where do I have the most now? Again, not great. Takes my people off the quarry. Uh, back to my turn. I think right now, if I were, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send. Oh, uh, a person to the town center. I didn't think I would do this, but I'm going to. I'm gonna pay money back to the taxes, and I can take these ones here, capture them. And then, but that's only to give me more money. It, do, it doesn't really limit. Nah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do it. That, that's not a good move. Okay, I'll take my money back. Um, what can I do with my money? Well, with my money, I could get more marble, which is good, or uh, I do have stuff. Let's go to the guild hall. Uh, except that's going to make me lose. Actually, now is not a bad time. Uh, except that I'm going to take a debt card. So with the debt, uh, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to find a way to get rid of this debt card. Uh, the only thing. I mean, the only reason I was wanting to take those was to try to get those up there so that I didn't have the most. Ah, uh, yeah. I guess I will do it. Okay. So I'm going to take. I'm gonna pay the one. I mean, I'm paying the one. Capture these. I, I just taking the time to send people to prison isn't a great use of my time in the game, but I feel like I have to so I don't take on that debt. It's one way to, within two moves, um, eliminate that debt for me. Um, hopefully. We'll see. Okay. So Constantine is going to go to the black market. Um, and gains rewards, so we can't go there, so it's gonna go there. Constantine's gonna go there, and goes down on the virtue, and add a future scheme card to the scheme's discard pile. All right, so there's more chances for it to fill up, make the game uh, go faster in the guild hall. All right, back to me. So I need to send Constantine's workers up to jail, up to prison. So I'm gonna to go to the guardhouse and that's all. Or I can just bring mine home. I'm gonna to wait to do that. Hopefully I can just bring all mine home. Um, yeah. Yep, because 
getting rid of debt can be expensive. So I'm sending them all up there. Uh, and then it's back to Constantine. Constantine's going to go to the guild hall. And it's going to take the first possible action, which in this case is... Um, yeah, and I'm kind of glad I did that because um, this is going to go off too. But it's going to go up here. Uh, caught up with me there. But now whoever has three or more goes down on the the uh, virtue. So Constantine goes down on the virtue. And whoever has the most takes a death card. And for Constantine, that means uh, two negative points. Um, at the end of the game, unless that debt is dealt with. So, uh, let me make sure that the AI actually gets debt cards. Does not collect, da, 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 da. can always advance work, can capture, can receive, and destroy debts. Okay, so I did that right. And with uh, Constantine doing that, let's see. Okay, my turn. Um, I could go. I could go to the cathedral. Also, I probably should, especially with Constantine just going. So I'm going to go to the cathedral uh, up here in the guild hall. I get rid of my marble. Get rid of this well, and I move up on this. Uh, two more spots to go. The next thing is I need to spend eight stone or wood. Any combination of that. And then the last one's really expensive, but two gold and two marble to get to the highest spot on the cathedral. Okay, Constantine is now going to go to the guardhouse, okay? Uh, Constantine has three workers there, so he's gonna take, a, a, Constantine will take as many uh, workers as he can. First thing Constantine's gonna do is send uh, workers home, and then it's gonna send all of my people up there. This is why, I mean, this is actually not bad because now, because the uh, reset, oh, I forgot to do this because the reset marker action happened. Ooh, two marble and two stone. Um, but because uh, the reset marker action has already happened, I can bring all my people home, get them out of jail. So, anyways, it sends them all. But that was, let's see here, two, ooh, four, six. The only bad part about this is Constantine gets six points effectively out of it because it just got six marble. So six marble is gone. Um, I don't have any of Constantine's stuff, but it will pay two to the taxes and three more to taxes to cancel a debt. And that debt is uh, gone and goes up on the virtue. So, uh, but three more, three more. You know what? I just realized, I think I cheated earlier because I don't think it would have done it if it couldn't do the second part. So I'm going to put four of the money that I got from paying taxes earlier back and we're going to take one out of the supply too because it, it didn't get workers back for me. So we're going to do that. Uh, the debt is gone. Flips that over immediately. It gets another virtue. All right. So back to me. Constantine is doing just fine. Um, I am still headed on the cathedral at least, which has been my goal. Um, and then, oh, should I have gotten some of these because I've gotten up three times on that? Uh, or did I only get, that? That's, I don't remember. Okay, so when I go to the cathedral, let's look up. When I go to the cathedral, do I get the reward card? Which would be another good thing. Um, virtue track, construction, and the cathedral. Um, Players should display the card face up above their player. Each card has various costs, requirements, rewards, and effects. Um, rather than pursuing their own endeavors, players can dedicate time and resources, pay the indicated cost, discard a building card, move their player mark, and reveal the top reward card and gain its benefits. Oh, okay, so I should have gotten three reward cards, but should there be two gone because of going to the guild hall? Let's make sure I didn't cheat on that. Um, one gone. Let's see here. The other one was that one. Uh, yep. So two should be gone. So let's see here. So we did the one. I did two. 
that one should be gone too. So I'm gonna get, I've gone up three times. Um, so basically it made it so my last two aren't gonna get rewards, so that's okay. Okay, so first things first, uh, we'll get three additional civil silver that I should have gotten and go up one on the virtue track. This one puts me up another on the virtue track and two stone. Yeah, that might have changed how I played the game. Oh, and then I'm up one more time on the virtue track and get an additional uh, building card. And this one is a castle. One virtue per two gold. Um, needs all three types of apprentices, and but only costs two clay, four wood, a gold, and two marble. I think that's one. This one's a little bit more appealing to me than this one, but. I don't know, we'll see. Um, okay, so I took my turn, and now it's back to Constantine. Constantine is going to go to the town center again. Of course, Constantine is. And is going to send my people to jail from the workshop. Not a huge deal, but I know where I'm going next time because I need all my people back. Um, and, oh, no, 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 not, not jail, not, not jail. To their captured spot and then they pay one to the taxes okay so with paying their taxes I need to go get all my people back before I have none I will now go up here I get uh, all my people back I could take a second action like taking a debt and losing a virtue to get these people back I don't I'm not really worried about that um, other thing is I can, yeah, I, I don't need to worry about that. Okay, so I have all these people back. That's the turn I needed anyway. And it's Constantine's last card, and then we're gonna reshuffle. Constantine is gonna go to the town center again. See, Constantine has enjoyed going to the town center. There's four there, um, just like there were at the King's Storehouse. So Constantine is gonna take quick from here and send them here. Oh, no, capture and spin uh, that to go there. And I always want to do that wrong. So, oh, but I, but I, I think I fixed every, um, every mistake I made, but let's see here. Okay, so Constantine is doing that. I'm doing that. Okay, so Constantine's gonna shuffle and then it's my turn. Okay, where, where do I want to? I need more stone, I need more uh, wood. I, I guess I gotta go to the forest and the quarry, and forest is the better one for me to get more marble, so I'll be going to the forest first, even though that only gets me one right now. All right, shuffle these, and then Constantine will be taking another turn. And Constantine has a, a huge pile of marble here, you can't quite see because it's top down, but let's see, there's like three, six, eight. 12 marble points there too. All right, let's try to beat Constantine at Constantine's own game. All right, Constantine is gonna to go to the workshop, gets two taxes to go to the workshop and eliminates this uh, one, which is not good because that's the next one I was gonna take, but oh well. I mean, I can go get this one. It's just not ideal. Uh, just makes it harder, I mean, that's okay. And then uh, add one future scheme card to the discard pile. Another workshop one. Great, cool, not. Um, okay, where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? Um, where do I want to go? I already have all the clay I need for that right now. Getting clay is easy for both of those. Oh, I could get, uh, well, let's, let's, let's make sure I'm getting all the, the wood I can get first before I, I get sent to prison again, or captured and then sent to prison. Okay, so there's that. I think I should just work on one thing at a time because I know that Constantine is gonna keep trying to send my people off to print, yep, here it is, town center, again. Uh, so this might be another chance to like clear off a bunch of Constantine people by capturing them. 
Um, okay, so it's going to spend one and send my people uh, from the forest here. It's going to be sending a bunch of my people to prison soon. Um, so I need to be aware of that. Where do, 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 do. I guess I want to just, I, I could get, um, because of this apprentice, I could get two marble. Keep working on this. Or just get this done. Um, or I do have enough to just go up on the uh, on cathedral track. Because I have four, five, six, seven, eight. I can just worry about the cathedral and, and do my other buildings later. I mean, the cathedral track is a bunch of points. And I want to block the AI from not, not letting me go there. So let's see. Okay, so two, four, six, uh, eight is, is what we're going to do. And I have to get rid of one of these. I think I'm going to get rid of the castle because it's more expensive. And I'm going to go up here to the guild hall. So I did that. Here's my eight resources. Four, uh, six, eight. I have eight resources. I go up there and... Now it's back to Constantine. What's Constantine going to do to me this time? Ooh. Okay. No, no, no. That's fine. Okay. So Constantine is going to go to the guardhouse. And at the guardhouse, uh, bring any people home. Can't do that. Um, all the captured people, though, will go up for one, two, three, four, five, six marble, which is six points. One, two, three. And the marble is a limited resource in the game. So three, six, six points more for a Constantine. Just capturing my people, sending them off. Not good. Okay. Um, so Constantine did that thing. Uh, can't get any of captured people back from me. Doesn't need to get rid of any debt, so it's not gonna do those things. All right, back to me. I really don't want my people to, I mean, that, that's negative victory points and negative virtue. Do I need to worry about that? Not yet, maybe. But I'm going to need to worry about it soon. Um, so, I, But I think what I should do first is go here, turn in. I have two people, so I can take two actions. So I can turn in uh, with this guy, two wood for a marble, so I'm gonna turn in my two wood for a marble twice, get two marble before it's gone, so that I can use it um, at the cathedral. And I need gold too, so I'm gonna to have to come to the mines soon too. All right, that's my turn. It's back to Constantine. Constantine is gonna get one uh, virtue per every worker at the king's storehouse, which is just one virtue. It has maxed that out. Uh, okay, my turn. Uh, get my people back or work on gold. I think I should get my people back because if I don't, um, then I'm going to have to worry about taking negative effects. Oh, oh that's only when the, the things reset. The black marker. But the black marker could get reset if Constantine goes there. I'm not going to go there, but Constantine could go there. And I mean, if I could go there, but I, I don't want to go there because that would also make that happen. So I'm going to go there and get my people back. My people come home. Come home, got them out of prison, busted them out, and it's back to Constantine. So Constantine will go to the guild hall. The guild hall is filling up. So when Constantine goes to the guild hall, they take the uh, top available action, which is going up here. Thankfully, I got all my cards. Before Constantine did that again, um, but I do need to figure out how to get my gold. Um, I mean, at this point, the fastest way to do it is not to go to the mines, but to go ahead and just take the card. I think if I do that, that, that seems to make sense, even though I'm going to go down the virtue track. So I'm going to go here. 
Because I'm not too little to be able to do my cathedral stuff. Anyways. I'm going to go here, take the two gold. And because now I have the two gold and the two marble to go up here. And with that, um, all three of these are going to go up here. Whoever has the most takes the debt, which is also good for me that Constantine has to take the debt. Um, and nobody has three in there. So nobody loses that uh, any virtue. But I didn't need to lose a virtue, so I could go down there because I visited that. And then does this flip over? I feel like that. Yes, it will flip over. So that flips over to there. That's gone. I think that was a good move, anyway. Okay. So now I can go to the guild hall, or maybe I want a different card. Because I do like this chapel okay, but I need more I need more cards. Yeah, let's get more cards. And I have I'll have two chances before Constantine can block me out of the cathedral, so uh, that's not much of a risk at this point. So the betting house gives me seven points. It's clay, two stone, and a gold. I would lose a virtue immediately if I built it, but that's that's a good one to do. Because I need something to just uh, discard, so I will discard that when I need to. Um, hi, if you just joined me, I'm playing Architects of the West Kingdom by Shim Phillips and uh, S.J. McDonald. Uh, pre feel free to ask questions. I, I definitely make mistakes, but I'm playing against the AI Constantine, the easier of the two, instead of Helena. And it's uh, Constantine's turn right now. Um, so Constantine's going to go to the tax stand. Uh, and... Returns any coins from the tax stand to the main supply and receives the following. So Constantine is going to move all these back. That's okay. I don't really need money right now. And uh, loses two virtue. That's good for me. But gains another point via uh, marble. Um, so Constantine has lost all the work they got on the board. I think all of them come back except for the guild hall. But let me make sure I do that right. Um... Do, 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 do. Uh, return all the worker. If your opponent starts their turn, so at the start of, the, of their turn, do not draw a scheme card. Instead, return all the workers to their board and shuffle all the discarded scheme cards. But, okay, so that's that's good actually for me. Um, I mean, except for that, this is going to get reset. And I don't love the cards that are in that. That's that's okay. All right, back to me now because I got this junky betting house that I don't want. Anyway, I'm going to go up to the guild hall again and uh, discard that betting house and my two orangish gold and my two marbles so that I can finish my portion of the cathedral off. Now I really do want to do this chapel because if I do this chapel, um, I definitely get the extra virtue, which would be three, which would give me a point. So that's me. So we reset. Uh, do they get even the ones that are in prison? Where, where was that? At? Where was that? At? Okay. Uh, return excluding guild hall and black market, including being captured in prison. Okay, so they get everything except for if they were here or here. They get all those back to their board, and then I'm gonna have to shuffle their discard. And do that. Okay, so this is going to get shuffled back into here, and it's my turn. So as I start thinking about my turn, um, what what do I want to do? Um, well, I'm already maxed out my cathedral, which is cool, but I need to start making my chapel, which will take a, uh, four stone and one wood, so I think I should go to the quarry first. So I'm going to go to the quarry, get the single stone now, and I can get more stone later on. Um, Okay. And. All right. So it is back to Constantine's turn. Constantine's turn. I will have them. Okay, they're going to go um, get a virtue for going to the king's storehouse. So they go back up, which is two more points for them. All right. Two more points for them. 
my turn. I want to do a thing. What should I do with my turn? Uh, Corey, again, I definitely need the stone for both of these. So Corey, um, I haven't really focused on my apprentices this game, so, but anyways, I get two more stone, uh, just how it's worked out. I probably should. This is, oh, I could, I could have been doing this. I could have hired this person, which would have fed into this person, which, uh, oh. So, I mean, hmm, okay. Yeah, and, and I need, I'm gonna need this one. So, cause that's, oh no, I, I could get this one. We'll see. Um, okay, so my, uh, what, what am I gonna do? What I need, I already have this, the symbol will allow me to build my chapel. Um, I guess I'll. I guess we'll get the type of people I need. So I'm gonna go here, and that's two. So I can go and, and have access to this miner, um, even though I don't necessarily need. Um, more clay at this point. Um, I do need that symbol for that type of the, the paper symbol. Yeah, okay, back to Constantine. Uh, Constantine's going to go to the town center and we'll pay one from the supply to the taxes to capture all my workers from the location with the most. Um, and if they're tied, then it goes to mines, then King Storehouse. So, okay, so the King Star House is before the quarry, and those come here. Back to my turn. Okay. Um, I really don't want debt, especially this late in the game. But I don't think I have to worry about it yet. We'll see. I have, to, I have time to. I have time to pay it off. So I will have time to pay off my debt. I think I'm gonna go to the forest and get a wood. And then it's back to Constantine. And Constantine's, of course, going to go to the town center again and pay one to taxes to send to capture two of my people again. Uh, well, let's see. Quarry, does the quarry come before the workshop? Yes, quarry comes before workshop, so capture two more. I'm, I'm going to push my luck a little bit, waiting on more people to come up here, and then I'll get them back at that point. Uh, hopefully, I don't get two debts or, or something like that. Okay, so now we'll go to the forest again, although I am running out of people. That's the only bad thing. Um, so now I get two wood, uh, which, oh, I still need, I still need an additional stone to build my chapel. Okay, all right, uh, back to Constantine. Constantine will go to the workshop Discard this one here after paying two to taxes and add a future scheme to Constantine's um, discard right there. Okay. And from here, we go there. I need a drink of water. Hydration. Do, do, do. Okay. I still need an additional. Um, I mean, I'm going to need more wood, so I'm going to have to go here. I'm probably going to get punished for that, but I'm going to need more wood to get um, marble. Um, so I'm going to go there because now I have uh, three marble, uh, three wood for there, wood for there, stone for there. I need two more stone here, but I can turn these two stone. Ah, oh, well, we'll see what Constantine does. I, 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 okay, card house. Um, they can send any of their people home. They have no people there. Uh, any of their captured people, which there are none. Uh, oh, they would send these captured people up here, which is four, and they get four marble. Okay, that's what they would do. One, two, three, four, another four points for Constantine. Constantine has so much marble. It's just a marble hoarder over there. Okay, 
uh, can't free captured people, can't uh, get rid of debt and gain virtue. So it's back to me. Um, yeah, if I have three people over here, oh, but I need people. I have to get my people back. That's what I. That's what I have to do. Unfortunately, so I will bring all my people back because I'm almost out of people. And that's my turn. Not a great turn, but it's what I had to do. Um, Constantine, go to the King's Storehouse again, get two Virtue, uh, which allows, because Constantine is maxed out here, it allows to get rid of that, um, which could allow them to get rid of even more and, uh, because they're maxed out on their Virtue. All right, back to me. Uh, now I need to go... Hmm. Now I need to go to the forest, and I get four, four wood. Um, I can always bring my people back using this action too, which might not be a bad action. Um, from the forest, which I, I might do next time if they're not captured, hopefully not captured by Constantine. And they're not, so I get to put two money into the taxes and both of these are gonna go away. And then Constantine also adds another scheme there. Hi, welcome to Architects of the West Kingdom. Let me know if you've got a question or if you have a suggestion because I'm uh, not playing very efficiently. I'm open to that, but I am having fun. Uh, Constantine, I think, is beating me pretty well right now, though. Um, okay, so Constantine's the AI over here. Back to my turn. With my turn, I am... I need to either get my people back or start working. I, I need to make sure I get my people back because I am really tight on decisions. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go there. I have to pay one money to taxes to bring my people back. Um, I could... I could capture Constantine's people, um, but I don't know that I want to. I don't want to spend an extra on that. That's just not efficient, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um, so I brought my people back. It's back to Constantine's turn. Constantine gets a virtue for every um, one at the King's Storehouse. I'm not going to worry about that. They could eliminate that if they had it because uh, um, they're maxed out on the virtue track. But just not, I'm just not worried about that right now. Okay, back to me. I need to get the quarry action going. So I'm gonna get a stone. Is there any, this one gives me more stone, but I have to have debt. Um, Cause that symbol means, what does that symbol mean? Uh, get rid of unpaid debts, blah, blah, blah. Get rid of debts. I don't think I want that card though. I don't think it's efficient because then I'd have to get either way. It has to do with that. I don't want that. I'm just going to take the one stone. Um, so I do have enough stuff to build this chapel over here, and then I could worry about um, the lighthouse in a minute. I think I might do that next turn. Yeah, I think I might try to build that chapel. And town center is happening again. Okay, of course. Um, so Constantine sends one to taxes, grabs two of my people, and uh, that's it. Um, okay, so back to me. I could just go to the quarry now, or I could go to the king's storehouse and get marble. I do need the marble for the lighthouse. Either way, I'm going to need stone though, so let's get the stone that I need and just be done with it. And so I get two stone. Um, that's an extra one more than I need, but maybe I can use it to build something else. Hopefully so. We'll see. Uh, Constantine's just going to block me out on the guild hall. So we only have three uh, guild hall spaces left and then the game is over. And I'm going to use two of those, hopefully, to build my buildings here. Um, you know, I'm gonna do one right now just to make sure that Constantine doesn't block me out completely. I mean, because that is possible at this point. So I'm gonna go to the Guild Hall. I'm going to spend my two clay 
one wood and four stone to build the chapel. And the chapel gives me uh, an immediate one, um, one virtue. At the end of the game, it'll give me two more virtue because I'm already the top on the uh, cathedral and uh, Constantine's not going to be able to pass me up on that. So I get one virtue right now. Not great, but at least it gets me closer to you one more point there. I need to find ways to build up my virtue. So how could I become... I can just buy it. I can just straight buy virtue if I need to. Uh, which... Uh, okay. So let's see here. Um, all right, I did my turn. Constantine's going to do their turn. He's going to go to the tax stand, lose two virtue. That's good. And uh, return any coins. I don't care about that. But get another point via the marble. And the marble's almost gone. So I better, I better, I better just take that action next to get the marble I need. And because of my apprentice, I can just go ahead and um, turn in two four wood to get the two marble I need instead of the three. So I have everything here set aside for this. Um, oh, but I can only take that action once. All right, so I'll turn that in next time. Okay, so I don't have, I only have, I'll have to wait till next time. Okay, so I took that action once. It's back to Constantine. Constantine is going to go to the workshop. And at the workshop, we'll pay two to taxes and discard this person that I wasn't even interested in. Do that and add a scheme to the discard. We are very close to being done. I can see that. Um, my turn. I'm going to get two marble. Marble's worth a point anyway. So I'll, I'll get, I will turn in this and this to get two marble. I can take two actions this time. Plus I don't want Constantine to have it. So two marble, put the marble there so that I can build this. And it's back to Constantine's turn. Constantine is going to go to the black market and gonna go here, lose virtue, which is a point, but get two marble. So that it's good that I did what I did because uh, which is two points. It's a net gain of one point. Um, yeah. I mean, it's amazing to me how much uh, virtue Constantine has lost, and yet is still ahead of me on the virtue track. Uh, so, I could get additional clay, because I would get three clay, which I can turn in. For every two things that I turn in, or I can just build this. I think it's most important to build this first. I only, only have two people left. Um, where or where? Uh, I, I guess. I guess I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do this one. Uh, no, I'm gonna do this one so I don't get blocked out. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spend the. Oh, yeah. I mean, it gives an opportunity for Constantine to block me out, but three wood, one stone, two marble. I built a lighthouse um, for six points at the end of the game. Um, it doesn't give me anything immediately, but I get um, points per every four here, which isn't great. So I, all I need to do is try to find a way to go up more here. Oh, my goodness. So, all right, next turn, guild hall for... Yep, and that's the game. Um, so it goes to the guild hall, takes the final point, and that's what I was afraid of. So I, I if I had had more time, I, I could have just turned in and got more virtue, but at least I'm at eight. Um, okay, let's, let's tally it up. So wherever Constantine is here... Um, they did get to move up with that last one, with this one on the guild hall. Um, so Constantine gets 12 points for that. 
And then for the virtue gets two, which is 14. Uh, no debt. And then marble, Constantine is going to get a ton. So let's see, five. I'll make piles of five. Uh, ten. I, I think Constantine won. Yeah. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Um, Fifteen. And... Twenty. Uh, twenty-five. Twenty-seven. So twenty-seven plus the twelve... And the two, the, uh, um, wait, ah, uh, okay, let's do that one more time. The uh, 14, 20, 3, 6, 8, 10, 13, 15, 16, 20, 22, 25, 27, plus the 14 is 41. Um, doesn't lose any for having any for every two up here. I was super worried about that. 41, and then for any, what is that last one? For any workers, let's see what that says. Workers in the guild hall. So Constantine has one, two, three, four, five workers in the guild hall. So 46 points for Constantine. Um, so mine are any things I've built here, which is 12, plus my cathedral score, which is 20, which is 32, plus my virtue, which I didn't get any points, but I didn't have any debt either. Um, uh, so 32, one from the marble I have left over, 33. Did I have 10 coins? Let's see. 4, 7, 10. So 34. Uh, nobody over there. So 46 to 34. Constantine blew me out of the water. I'm going to have to try this again. I really enjoy this game. I like it a lot. I'm not used to going against the AI and thinking about what the AI is going to do. Um, I thought it was going to put me in the guardhouse a lot more. I thought that that was going to be, uh, and, and the prison, I thought that it was going to be something that I would have to mitigate a lot more. I went hard on that, went hard, uh, focused on the cathedral, and I don't think either one of those was the right way to go. I think I should have been focused a little bit more on apprentices and then uh, buildings. So, yeah, we're going to have to do it again. It's a fun game. I like it a lot. Thanks for watching if you watched uh, or if you watch later on. Um, this has been Architects of the West Kingdom by Shim Phillips and S.J. McDonald. It's fun. Carolyn Ginian, Carolyn Ginian, 9th, 9th century France, building buildings and a cathedral. Bye.